Hi guys and welcome to Soft Hints. In this video I want to speak about PyCharm, an error push failed repository not found. I was using a private repository from which I was able to do a fetch and a pull but when I tried to do a commit and push I faced this error. Then I realized that we can have uh, several different uh, reasons for this uh, specific message. For example, you can use a uh, wrong user, the repository address could be wrong or you can uh, have problems with your privileges. Finally, I will try to explain some optimal steps in order to investigate similar issues. And before to start with all this, I want to ask you, do you know from where the name of Bluetooth is coming? You can think for a bit and you can pause the video if you want. I will share the answer with you. And for those of you who know it, congratulations, you have a really good knowledge in IT area and in history. You can see it here. It's King Harold, the Bluetooth, who was eating a lot of uh, blueberries and his uh, teeth become blue. And the sign of uh, Bluetooth is coming also from his name. It's from Nordic and here you can see and confirm this in this article in uh, Wikipedia. Okay, that's been said. Let's go back to our problem. So in order to investigate and solve this problem, you need to check uh, the version control tab. So let me open PyCharm. So this is PyCharm project. And in order to find your user, you can open version control and then go on uh, tab lock. And here you can see latest commits and the person who did these commits here. You can see some of the persons. This is a project for optimizing pandas. So you can see the relate, related commits to this project. I can share the really interesting interview if you want to optimize pandas in the description section below. And let's go back on our, uh, our article. In order to check what is the current username for JIT, you can use this command here. And I will show you. Here you can see that this is the global name for my JIT account. Of course, you can list everything for uh, your JIT configuration. And you can see this or you can uh, open the file in your favorite uh, editor and check the information there. For example, I can change my name. This is in my home folder and this is the name of the file. I can change the name here go again in the command line and get the new username. But if you want to do a, this change only for your PyCharm project, then you need to open your project in files. For example, show in files. You need to locate this folder JIT. Then you need to open this file config. And finally, you need to add your user and email to this file and do a save. And in this way, you're going to override your global settings only for this PyCharm project. Let's go back on our um, article. So another way to override your JIT user is by adding your username in front of the your remote in PyCharm. For example, I can go in VCS, then JIT, remotes, and I can edit this address here. You can add new username with Klomba or with uh, this uh, strange sign. I don't know how do you pronounce it. Never mind. And then you can change the address and use the new user. Okay, then you can 
of course check the address is it correct or no against uh, the site uh, github and finally you can try to see your privileges for example I, I was trying to create a new branch and I faced this error then you can go to the site github and try to create a new branch in order to create a new branch you can go here on the, repo uh, the repository address then you can uh, go on branches search for a given branch and if you want you can use this create uh, option and create the new branch and also you can verify the address from here clone or download and you can see the address which will be used and the finally you can see here some of the optimal steps for me for example you can check uh, the URL for this repository it's case sensitive in some cases you need to verify is it uh, public or private then you can check uh, what user you're using then you can see your privileges and finally you can try to test this operation in the github website and finally i want to share with you a funny comment from a guy in stack overflow he is saying that uh, gotta love those useful JIT error messages can't find the repository that I just cloned liar <laughs> so please do share your comments in the section below do you have similar problems and how do you solve them and finally you can see uh, if you're interested in data science and you can uh, join and enter this uh, interesting area which is trending recently a free book from many publications I will share also the address of the book in the link below you can see also some other books from uh, Manning they are really interesting for example you can see uh, exploring microservices and some others I will put also a link for them thank you for watching and see you next time